do you like the layout of this site? Actually, I'm not talking about the theme, which is one of the WordPress default ones, but I'm talking about the sidebar. Look how long it is. Let's scroll down and in the end, it's very long. Sometimes we write short blog posts and that's what it appears. Long sidebar and very small main content area. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to reduce the height of the sidebar automatically based on the content in the middle? As a matter of fact, it is possible because I have released a cool new plugin called Orbisius Smart Sidebar, which allows you to adjust the height of the sidebar automatically if it's taller than the height of the main content area. It will require a little bit of CSS HTML knowledge, but I'm going to walk you through the process. It requires Firefox with an installed extension called Firebug or Chrome, which has that already built in. Let's switch back to the Orbisius Smart Sidebar tab here. That's the plugin settings page. I have installed and activated the plugin. The beauty of this plugin is it tries to help you as much as it can. It analyzed the current theme and has found some classes and IDs that may actually work for your theme, but you have to confirm those values with the browser. So with the sidebar, we see one value. So there's a bigger chance that that's the value for the sidebar. So let's use it. We need to switch back. We need to determine which one is the ID or the class of the main content. Let's switch back to the first tab. Since I'm using Firefox and I have already installed Firebug add-on, I can right click and click on inspect element with Firebug. A new window pane shows up. And our goal here is to find the right element. We can do so by clicking on this arrow and point any element on a page, but we're mostly interested in the content area. You can click here and choose article. Usually that's not the primary content area. It's either one or two levels up. I can click here and it shows its content. I can even click one more level up and it shows primary. If I go one level up, it selects the sidebars. I don't want that. I want to go one level down and that is an element with an ID called primary or a class called site dash content. Actually the classes, they can be multiple classes here and the ID should be just one. So it's primary here. Let's go back to the plugin settings and here we see primary. Let's click on use, Let's scroll down and click on save changes. I don't need that firebug pane anymore. We can switch back to the other tab. I can reload the page. And look, the sidebar has been resized and there's a nice vertical scroll bar that shows up here. And people can navigate through. It's a very nicer experience. And that applies for the other pages as well. Okay, how to find the ID of the sidebar? Let's right click inspect element with firebug and like we did with the main content area we need to go and click on different elements and depends on the selection we're going to understand which elements have been selected so when i'm on this main that wrapper that means that that's a container that contains the main content area and the sidebar we don't want that we need to find the sidebar specifically Let's click on the secondary here and we see only the sidebar gets selected and that's our element. We have ID called secondary and also there's a class called widget area. You can use either one will work in most cases, but I recommend it using the ID because it's unique and we can either copy the ID here, but most likely the plugin has selected that already here. Let's click on show hide and it's going to list the plugin will try to guess as many classes and ids as possible hi in this video i'm going to show you how to use chrome to find the ids or classes of the main content area and the sidebar let's right click inspect element 
and we're presented with an option and it shows one area is selected. Let's click on the arrow here so it will expand the content. If I go down more, so it's different areas. Most interested either primary or content. So it's one or the other. Let's check for the sidebar. I can click on the magnifying glass and I can point my browser to any element and all those elements they get selected as I move my mouse can click once and they show secondary which is great that's the sidebar 